I have always, always called this Baltimore suburb a trap door. You get up there and you just don't want to leave. Please, aware, aware am I talking about? Meet me on the other side and I shall share. If we have not met, my name is Mark and today I have the pros and cons of living in Westminster, Maryland and I will absolutely explain why I think Westminster is a trap door. Good, bad, or indifferent. Listen, Westminster is an awesome, awesome Baltimore suburb. But first, the first con that I'm going to share with you, that's going to explain why my comment is all about the trap door. Woo! Let's go. First and foremost, I'm going to give you a little bit of taste of Westminster before we dive into the pros and cons. Westminster is located in Central Mound. It's northwest of Baltimore as far as the Central Business District. It's the outer reaches as far as the greater Baltimore area. But let me say this, it's absolutely, absolutely worth it to get on out there and check it out because it's just a beautiful, beautiful area. You're going to be 30 to 40 minutes away from Baltimore living in Westminster. You're anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes from Columbia, the number one place to live in Maryland, number 13 in all of America. And you're a good hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes to D.C., uh, the free capital of the world. Uh, major highways, they all intersect you. Have, if, they, if they are major highways, you have 97 and 27 that go north to south. And of course, you got 140 coming out of Baltimore that leads east to west. And th those are your major routes. Listen, I lived in Westminster for close to 15 plus years, raised a family there, and I enjoyed it. But I'll give you my take as far as my feel on Westminster, and you know, later on in the video. But please, you know, it's peaceful, it's tranquility, it's all, con it's all country. Those are the words that are synonymous with Westminster. Westminster is the county seat for Carroll County. It does have a major hospital there, Carroll Hospital. It's a primary medical center there for Carroll County. And of course, Westminster, it's a part of the LifeBridge Health System. Uh, which is a regional healthcare provider, but even more comforting from a health and medical standpoint. Being in Westminster, you're 30 to 40 minutes away from world-renowned Johns Hopkins Hospital that if you need you know, some type of better care or more exponential care, you go to Hopkins, please. That's right in your back, uh, backyard for all of us here in the Baltimore area. Westminster is home to Carroll Community College and also McDaniel College. So Westminster itself, it's a college town. There's no doubt about that. Lots of Civil War history all throughout the Westminster area because you're 20 minutes from Gettysburg. A lot of troops on their way to Gettysburg passed through Westminster. In fact, the Battle of Westminster, or it's called Corbett's Charge, they, in fact, that Corbett's Charge, that Battle of Westminster, delayed the Confederate General Jeb Stewart's army from reaching Gettysburg in time, and it was a key factor in the outcome, you know, and the benefit of the Union Army. Uh, Revolutionary War history, all, again, all through the Westminster area, and, of course, Westminster's an area that infamous George Washington and his troops stayed there at one time or another. He stayed everywhere on the East Coast. But in 1777, you'll like this, the Continental Congress met in the Carroll County, the Westminster Courthouse, still exists there today, and per passed the first Articles of the Confederation, which is the first constitution in the United States. A lot of people in Baltimore don't even know that. It's a very tight community. Westminster, it's tight. Look, I lived and operated, you know, I lived there, as I mentioned, for many years. I operated my nationwide mortgage banking firm there for 10 years, right on Main Street. I loved it, but I'll give you my take again shortly. The first pro for living in Westminster, it's a downtown area. Oh, my God. You know, the Westminster area, the Main Street area, it's Main Street, USA. It's just super quaint, and it's just, I don't know, it's just awesome. It's got, a, it's got the restaurants and it's got the pubs, and it's got all kinds of shops. It's walkable, and you can spend a day out there. I just, I just love it. Uh, being that I had my office right on Main Street, every single day around 11 or 12 o'clock, the Midland train rolls through the center of Westminster, and of course it blows its whistle, and it's very, very cool. There's all type of festivals throughout the downtown Westminster area throughout the year. Fall Fest is the major pool. Of course, in the fall, it's a major highlight. They have the Spring Festival, but they also have Art in a Park, where they bring feature artists throughout the Baltimore, D.C. area. Uh, this time of year, or actually past couple weeks ago, throughout the Christmas season, all the trees 
through Main Street are all lit up. It's just got a very, very cool feeling. Uh, the Main Street also features the Carroll County Arts Council, and they put on shows and art exhibits, and they bring in speakers. And, of course, right off Main Street is McDaniel College. And I'll talk about that in a couple minutes. And that offers theater on the hill. So you got a lot of things at your disposal that you can plug into all through the Main Street area. Look, if you're going to live somewhere, you got to know what's up from a job standpoint. Look, first and foremost, Maryland has an unemployment rate of 1.79%. That, that is like 0.0. It's unbelievable, the opportunities throughout the Maryland area. But specifically in Westminster, your main employers, I'll go through a few of them, consist of Carroll County Public Schools, one of the largest employers throughout the Carroll County area. There's always a demand for administrators and also teachers. It's a great public school system. My kids went there, but you can check that out on niche.com or check out greatschools.org. So you need to know that just from an employment standpoint, Carroll County Public Schools is always hiring. Carroll Community College, another major employer. They employ employ well over a 1,000 people. And, of course, there's the private McDaniel College. It was established in 1867, and they got a major footprint in the Westminster community from an employment standpoint. And, of course, you got Carroll Hospital, a very large employer as well. And, of course, where my niece's husband, Mike, works at Penguin Random House. It's a large distribution center, and they're always hiring out there also. But look, if you, if you can't work in the Carroll County community, look, major opportunities, the majority of us traveled out of that area, out of Westminster when I lived there, and it still is the case today. There's major healthcare and tech opportunities in Baltimore, at the Baltimore Peninsula. You got Columbia, and of course that features Tenable, one of the top cybersecurity firms in the nation, which is 30 to 40 to 45 minutes away. And you got federal government jobs all through that area outside of Westminster, 30 to 40 minutes away, NSA, National Security Agency, Fort Meade's the Cyber Command Center. And of course, that breeds and develops all those different uh, defense contractors and cybersecurity firms. If you're living in Westminster, in the Baltimore area in general, the average commute for most of us is about 30 to 40 minutes. And that's just part of it. So we'll get deeper into that in a second. It must be 10 degrees here in Baltimore, but the good thing is winter only lasts three months and we're 60 days away from spring. So you know, listen, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Moving about or relocating is the biggest investment you're ever, ever going to make, and we got you covered. The third pro on the list for living in Westminster, and this is major, is affordable housing. Ugh. That's what Baltimore's predicated upon, but Westminster even more so. Average home price in Westminster is $407,000 according to Realtor.com. The communities throughout the, you know, the central Westminster area are all historic homes. You got very cool colonials and Victorian homes. Look, Westminster is made up of townhomes. They have some condos, but not many, but for the most part, single family homes and townhomes, but it's country. Westminster, one of the appealing aspects of Westminster is that they have, you have access to acreage. So if you ever wanted to farm at and you wouldn't have a horse or chicken or pigs, have at it. You have access to that in the Westminster community. One thing about Westminster, check out this house. 225 Blue Heron. Uh, not too, you know, listen, there's not too many contemporary style homes in the Westminster area. This is three beds, two baths, a little bit over 1,800 square feet. It sits on three acres, currently listed on the market for $495,000. Boom. That's what I'm talking about, affordability. And for $495,000, you get a contemporary home, totally redone. That's what I'm talking about. So if you want a homestead, come to Westminster. You want country? Go to Westminster. You want peacefulness? You go to Westminster. It's a lifestyle. I'm telling you. I told you before. The first con that I'm telling you about is the trap door. It's about the location. Westminster's location is a total, total trap door. Because you get up there, you don't want to leave there. And if you travel down outside of that area for work, and you get back there, you don't want to leave there. It's a trap door. It's the outer edge of Greater Baltimore. Love it. But when you're out there, it's, it's country, it's peacefulness. You don't want to leave. That's just a fact of life. As I mentioned before, you're 30, 40 minutes from Baltimore. You're 30 to 40 minutes from Columbia, number one place to live. But access to cybersecurity and government jobs and tech and healthcare all through there. 
And of course, you're over an hour to D.C. So you get back to Westminster, you don't want to leave. And that's just the truth of the matter. You, you know, people, like I said, they, they get up there, and they just don't leave. That's why it's a trap door. I laugh about it all the time because I got family up there still. And when they're up there, and then we're having a party, or we're having to get together, they don't want to come down. That's just a fact of life. That's why I call it a trap door. They don't want to leave. Uh, uh, uh. Number one goal. Number one goal is to showcase every inch of the Baltimore and the greater Baltimore area through our videos so you have a complete understanding of the best area that fits your lifestyle. This is about you. So if you're moving about or relocating to Baltimore, Maryland, or the Baltimore suburbs, then subscribe. Tap the bell so you're the first to know about the current market here in Baltimore. Ha! You love this. The second con about Westminster it's a shopping. Oh my God. Look, if you like Walmart and being greeted by Miss Mabel all the time or Target or Lowe's or, you know, the infamous town mall of Westminster that has a Belks, <laughs> you feel me? There's not much in Westminster. It's pretty basic. Uh, they have all the major grocery store chains and all that. They have every necessity what you need, but just nothing. Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't have the nice stores. You're going to be traveling to Baltimore. You're going to be traveling to D.C. Maybe to Frederick. It's 20 minutes away. But Westminster, listen to me. TSC, uh, the tractor supply company, it's pretty popular. And I'm not kidding. It's very, very popular in Westminster. Mm. Don't get that. The third con uh, of Westminster is definitely the activities. There ain't much to do out there in Westminster. I'm just telling you. It's country. You're tucked away, as I keep saying. There's hunting. There's fishing. There's some real good fishing, and there's some great streams up there for, uh, for the brown trout and all that, but there's no significant lakes or anything like that, or any significant parks. you got to travel to go find your fun. It's, just, it's quiet. It's just a quiet, quiet lifestyle, and there's just not much out there. So they got golf and all that, but whatever. Uh, here's the bonus for you. Let me say this. Westminster's not known for its diversity. You know, it is what it is. A lot of people don't let me say this. I'm probably going to get some curt comments about this. But Westminster is white. It's 77% white, 7.8% African American, 4% Latino. And that's all according to Data USA. And look, I like diversity. That's just me. I think it adds flavor. I think it adds culture. And I think it's important. So if that's, you know, that's, that's part of it. That's, I think it's a con. So as I said, you got to know what's up. Here's my take. I love Westminster, and I still love Westminster. As I mentioned, I still have family up there. I'm in the community all the time. But what I hated about Westminster is that whatever I wanted to do, whatever I needed to get to, was always 35 to 40 minutes away. And that's why I moved out to Hunt Valley, because my kids were going to private school to Coward Hall, and it was all located throughout the Baltimore area. So, look, if you're after peace, you're after quiet, you're after acres, you're after country, Westminster's a ticket for you. You cannot go wrong. It's a dynamite community. It's a great place. Great place to raise a family. But look, if it's not for you and you need a little bit more suburban, check out my next video. It's the hottest hoods, neighborhoods of Baltimore. Look, you can pick, you get pick of the litter with that. I love you, Baltimore. I love you.